Welcome to Faith Walk, another edition presented by Church Street Church of Christ, Lewisburg, Tennessee. My name is Don Ledford, and it is a privilege and honor to be with you. June 14th is Flag Day in the United States of America. This goes back to June 14th, 1777, some 243 years ago, when the Second Continental Congress recognized by resolution of what the flag's design would be and, and those things that it represented. Of course, the 13 white stars were the 13 original colonies, and that was to be on a field of blue. Uh, red and white stripes running horizontally. And of course, we've added states as time go has gone by, and the flag has been changed somewhat in design, but colors and, and the representation are still the same. And so we, we have that new constellation. And, and of course, the flag uh, involves uh, historical events for our country. It represents uh, courage and it represents uh, sacrifice and many other things that call to memory whenever we see the flag. The Bible speaks of Flag Day. Maybe not necessarily a Flag Day per se, but the Bible does flag certain things for us to be aware. There are things that are flagged uh, as being good, and there are things that are flagged that are uh, inherently bad. And so we recognize those for what they are and, and uh, remember those things as we read them. For example, the Bible flags things that are evil in Galatians chapter 5, verses 19 through 21. Let me, let me share those flags with you. Now the works of the flesh are evident, which are adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lewdness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, contentions, jealousies, outbursts of wrath, selfish ambitions, dissensions, heresies, envy, murders, drunkenness, revelries, and the like, of which I tell you beforehand, just as I also told you in time past, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. This is Paul speaking to the churches of Galatia and giving them some advice as it pertains to flagging certain things that they should not participate. He goes on a little bit further and flags things that they should uh, participate and should possess in their character. For example, look at verses 22 through 24. Paul says, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. And those who are Christ have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. If we live in the Spirit, let us walk in the Spirit. So you can see Paul is advising the church, churches in, in Galatia that there are things that should be flagged, things that should be uh, abstained from, things that are warnings that will cause us trouble in our lives. And then he goes on further and talks about the things that can be good to us, that can help us in life, that can help us in our walk through life as we serve Christ Jesus. You know, as we think about uh, Paul, the inspired writer Paul, warning the churches at Galatia, the things that they should be aware and the things that, that are good for them, we are reminded in John 3.16 that God 
loves us so much that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes would not perish. And also we are reminded in 1 Corinthians 6 verse 20 that you or me, we are bought with, at a price and therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit which are God. Our, our bodies and our spirits belong to God, and it is of great comfort to know that we were bought with a price. You know, when we buy something and, and it becomes, uh, when, we, when we pay for it, it becomes ours. And, and so uh, God is telling us, Paul is telling the church at Corinth, you folks were bought at a price. You, you cost God something. And, and that application is to you and to me as well. We were bought at a price. As we think about Flag Day in the United States of America and the significance that it is to us as American citizens, let us think about the things that God has flagged, God has warned us that these things we cannot participate and be a, a resident of heaven in the ever, and evermore. Also, there are things that we must continue to do and strive to do in order to receive that reward. Would you join me in prayer? Almighty God, we do thank you that you bought us for a price. You bought us with your son, Jesus the Christ, who made the supreme sacrifice that we might have life eternal. Father, we give you thanks for this blessing. Father, we pray that you would help, help us recognize the things that you have flagged that are wrong and evil and will create harm in our life. Father, we thank you for the things that you have flagged that are good for us, that we should be doing, that we should share with others. Father, give us the wisdom to know the difference. Heavenly Father, we again ask you to bless our nation. We pray for those who are sick. We pray that you would heal them and we pray for our leadership in our country. Father, we pray that you would guide us. Heavenly Father, we're so grateful you love us, and thank you so much for the gift of your Son, Jesus the Christ, and we offer this prayer in your Son's name. Amen. I hope you have a great rest of the day. May God bless you all.